Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Ground Control as we continue the single player campaign. Last time we uh, we did a raid on a um, Craven base which had been conducting research into the Xenofax and we got our first cutscene of the Order campaign where we found out some uh, shady stuff seems to be going down so let's see if we can't delve into that more with our next mission. Sorry to give you a mission so close on the heels of the last one, my friend. But I have just received a coded burst transmission from the jump point at the edge of the Krieg system. It seems we are about to receive the holy leadership you crave so badly. The Order is sending another command cruiser? Yes. It seems His Holiness, the great Cardinal Aguirre of the Holy Inquisition, has taken a personal interest in our battles. The WCS retribution is scheduled to arrive in 16 hours, and before it does, we have been ordered to blind the Craven Deep Space sensors. The Inquisition? Here? Magnus, we must talk. I know about... Not here. Not now. You are a good soldier and nothing else. Do not forget that. Do not be anything else in the days to come. You will know if and when you must be anything else. Is this clear, Deacon Stone? Mm, yes. Very good. Now listen closely. This area holds a Craven early warning system, which they erected shortly after WCS Divine's departure. You must level it to the ground. I understand. Is the base heavily defended? Yes. But I have managed to arrange for some heavy fire support for you, courtesy of the Craven Corporation itself. We have captured two Craven tanks, and though heavily damaged, they still hold together. A repair team convoy is on its way. You will rendezvous with them here, and escort them to those Teradines. Your drop zone is here. I've downloaded the coordinates to my planning computer. My troops will be ready within the hour. Excellent. Remember, Jared, no matter what happens in the days to come, true faith will show you the way. Magnus out. So I get the feeling, obviously he's very worried about an Inquisition coming here because of all the heresy, uh, or heresy that's going on here, particularly with um, Magnus. But uh, I get the feeling he knows we snooped around. Because that felt very much, uh, I'm not getting the same vibes that he's evil like, uh, What's-Her-Face was, the like Enrique Hayes was in, um, the Craven campaign. It seems he knows what we saw, and he's, uh, trying to tell us in code, you're a good soldier, you're nothing but a soldier, be a good soldier, you know, for the next couple days, or it seems like he's telling us, hey, just put on a, put on your poker face. You didn't do anything wrong. You're not going to do anything wrong. You're just going to keep soldiering and you'll have nothing to worry about. So it sounds like he's kind of telling us to keep our heads slow uh, when the Inquisition comes. But uh, I guess we'll find out later on. All right. So we have two more squadrons that, okay, we can take both of them because we do get a second drop shit. Excuse me, we got the Abominations and the Wrath of God. Alright. Ah, uh, so as usual, Dark Prophet's Offensive Focused Energy Pulse. What do we got? We have the Portable Pulse Radar Unlocked. I don't think we'll need that. The Hands of the Sun. Again, Flamethrower, just because I think it's fitting. I mean, I guess you could argue the Plasma Pulse is fitting too. Perhaps even more fitting than a Flamethrower, but... Um, we have the Golden Stars who are medium Hoverdines. Offensive Plasma Sunburst. Plasma Moonburst. Uh, the Shining Daggers. Kind of do the same thing with them. Is there any... I suppose we could keep... Um, just trying to think what Raven would have in terms of heavy anti-vehicle stuff. I think it'd mostly be other vehicles. I mean, granted, the um, the Jaegers tore apart my motorcycles and light hoverdines pretty quickly. Um, 
But other, I don't. I think they're only limited effectiveness against medium hoverdynes, so I don't really have to worry as much about uh, anti-vehicle stuff as I did with the Craven because of the order. Uh, uh, we don't even have them unlocked yet, but because of the order um, uh, Templars with their missile packs, so I think I will take one offensive balance with the Electro Field as opposed to the Dagger because I figure we've got. Three squads of uh, medium hoverdynes here. Plus, it sounds like we're getting a squad of um, Craven Heavy Terradynes. So that should provide more than enough vehicle firepower for our needs. So I feel like uh, just going with um, a dedicated anti-infantry unit here. Or like a light anti-vehicle unit could be uh, useful here. So I think we're pretty much set. There's not really a lot of customization we can do at this point in the campaign. So let's give it a whirl. New drop zone. I will say, I think I would much rather have, uh, oops, much rather Landing have an artillery atmosphere. unit. Landing vehicle entering atmosphere. Okay, so what do we got here? All right, so this must be the, yeah, this is the base we've Mission got to run the The repair convoy is coming up on your position. Recommendation: escort them to the damaged pterodines. Once repaired, use them to help destroy the EWS base. Right here, escort them to the damaged Sheridan's priorities. Okay. Uh, oh, it's they're coming from the north, and we've got to escort them to the base. Okay, well, uh... Move order received. Yes, all right, you guys get over there. While our APC loads up, they're being a little slow. Move command. Yes, all right, I think we're... We're good, so yes, we're just Deacon. going Enemy to uh, try to rendezvous with these guys yes, Deacon, we are moving. Uh, as quickly as possible. Obviously, it takes us a little bit to form up. A 20-ton? Is that? Oh, it does say 20-ton transporter. Yeah, it's thicker, too. It's, uh, it's basically two of them put together, I think, um, with... Uh, uh, it's a little different. Alright, so we just gotta get these guys to the base, which shouldn't be too big of a problem. I mean... Unless units are gonna... Oh! There I go, opening my... Big fat mouth. But... A single squad of marines is hardly, uh... Squad six taking hostile fire. Squad six receiving. regenerating. End of the world. Squad four taking early fire. Here, let's pull out the uh, the infantry here. This is kind of your job. Squad four regenerating. Squad five taking hostile fire. There we go. How are they not killing this guy? Like the amount of just the amount of bullets heading that way should be. Uh, it's like some of them got to be hitting right. Yes, All right, so let's get our vehicles out again and uh, screen the convoy for any threats that might be coming from the yes, base. Deacon, while moving. our infantry reload into the APC. We are taking heavy fire. We need immediate help here. Uh. Oh, I hear him. We shall move. It. Unable to move there, Deacon. Okay. Uh. We are. We're moving, Deacon. You yes, escort. Deacon. Uh, they've got, uh... Command APC taking hostile fire. Yeah. Move order oh, there they are. On our way. Or at least there's some of them. I think they got some Jaegers around We're here, too. Stay here. Um... Everyone else... Uh, all of them. I do want to... Up oh, there we go. Uh, light Terradyne. Oh, we got here. Scout Terradyne. So, yeah, the lights can deal with them. There we go. Squad 5 taking friendly fire. And there they go. Yes, Deacon. 
Okay, it looks like our APC isn't finding anything. So they're either over there, which is possible. That is a very suspiciously placed rock formation, I think. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, uh, Move command understood. I think we're just going to finish escorting these guys. Hopefully there shouldn't be anything in this stretch, because, I mean, I would hope the pulse laser pillboxes would see that. But we see we've got a little... Looks like a captured Craven base. Yeah, we, I think these are Craven designs for the most part all around. Eh, maybe not this. That could be... I don't know. I, I didn't look at buildings enough. <laughs> oh, they even have the... T you can go in the tent! Squad 5 regenerating. Oh, that's so cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's such a silly thing to be geeking out over, but at the same time, I feel like it's really cool that you can actually go in there and it's not like using some sort of hitbox to, to you know, um, keep you out, you know. All right, one of you was damaged. Uh, yes, Deacon. We shall move at once, Deacon. There. Move command understood. Which was Squad Five. So I think we have two bases we have to assault. One is um, yeah, it's just these random irregular outcroppings that aren't very numerous. Uh, one is here. I think this was the power generation system for. Uh, their deep space surveillance network, and then one was here, which contained the actual sensors. Oh, hey, birdies. Hello. Oh, they chirp like earth birds. Uh, this is much more numerous. I think we'll hit the power first, uh, in the hopes Thanks, that... Deacon. You are truly a child of the sun. We'll repair the pterodynes immediately. In the hopes that, um... They um, were stupid and wired all their base defenses to the power at the other plant, but I guess we'll see. I don't know how long it's going to take for them to repair, so I'm kind of of a mind to uh, start deploying, really. Yes, Deacon. Amazing. Mission update. Craven Pterodynes restored to optimal functional capability. Your force should be sufficiently strong to initiate the assault on the Craven base. All right, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I'm going. So if we go... Wow, we kind of just... are forced to pretty much march right up to... that junction, right which major. is unfortunate, but... I guess we'll go there for now and reform and take stock of the situation. I might send some infantry over the hills just to get some targeting information. APC taking hostile fire. Oh, hello. Yes, Deacon. We will Aim battle pterodynes. All right. Well, let's get out of there. Squad four taking friendly fire. Yes, squad 5 taking hostile fire. Hostile Terradyne eliminated. Squad uh, 6 taking friendly fire. Squad 5 Yeah, we're taking friendly fire there. Hostile Terradyne eliminated. Squad 6 taking friendly All fire. Alright, more scout Terradynes. Ooh, squad Terradine 6 is eliminated. kind of banged up. Move order received. Yes, Deacon. Alright, let's, let's get our APC in the middle of things here and kind of regenerate everyone. Uh... Yeah, these yeah, guys are just going to slowly work their way in. We, shall move at once, Deacon. we gotta be careful with the APC because we don't have uh... Why are you pri prioritizing him over him? But um, we don't have a lot of reserve. Or we don't have uh, the capability to repair our command APC. So we gotta we be a little way. careful about that. Uh, return fire only, yeah, return fire only, because I do want to scout out, um, right away, Major. Uh, I would, Coordinates there. received. put you there, put you Move there, understood. that should be sufficient, I do want to, I want to do a little bit of scouting. I don't know where they think they're gonna get up though, which is kind Squad of. Squad six taking hostile fire. Move order 
Received. Yes, Deacon, we are moving. Uh, okay, they got light tear dines. Squad six taking from oh, the yes, pull back. Move order received. We don't need you getting hit by tanks. Yes, Deacon, we shall move at once, Deacon. Yeah, I'm going. Squad five taking hostile fire. Hostile tear dine eliminated. There we go. Well, that's kind of nice that the vehicles all come out to me. That I don't have to worry about taking those out along with the enemy base defenses at the same time. Oh, get a little closer there. Squad six regenerating. There we go. Our light hover dynes just take so much damage. Right away, Major. Coordinates received. Yes, Deacon. I guess we'll just slowly we move everyone once, up. <laughs> okay, good. They're finally able to get up there. Now, we are on our now way. get up there. We'll see if they can still make the trek. And poor little guys. I'm probably exhausting them all out. Good thing they have combat drugs, probably, knowing the order. All right. So we're pretty much good here. Actually, I'm going to have these guys take yes, Deacon, that forest moving. flank. Move command. And yes, we can Deacon. move our command move APC move up command. a bit. Five, regenerating. And hey, someone needed repair, so that's a good thing. So now we have a blocking force, so if they try to go towards our uh, repair base down there. Let's see, repair. This is our outpost, which contains two damaged Craven tanks to escort the repair convoy to the outpost, so we can repair the tanks and use them in the assault on the EWS base. Power. This is the source that is powering the Craven base and EWS. This is where the early warning system is located. You will need the firepower of the two damaged Sheridines to infiltrate the base. Okay. And again, I'm just waiting for a uh, scouting report here. Because uh, I'm just curious to We're see moving, what... Deacon. Do I even need to wait for it? I guess the big thing would be what's around this corner. Command Which... APC taking hostile fire. Hostile Teradyne eliminated. We're not that far away from... Hostile Teradyne eliminated. And honestly, I'm kind of in favor of, the, of letting these guys keep throwing Paradines away one by one on my defensive line here. So, uh, this is like the one case where, one of the few cases where I do wish this game had like a speed up button. So I didn't have to, you know, so I don't have to wait five minutes for them to cross the map to get eyes on the base. I could suppose I could have taken them as a recon detachment. Maybe in the future I will um, take infantry, uh, order, in order inventory as recon since the Templars are more specialized as anti-vehicles. So I think that might actually kind of force me to take a squad of infantry as recon. Almost makes me wish I could take three squads of infantry, but that's not allowed. Alright, so with no more vehicles so far let's move up our move order received yeah i'm going move order received yes deacon we shall move at once deacon let's move our line forward slowly inch in there and the way the briefing and the map is making it sound like at least is their power base does power the main early warning base we so once we take this out the base defenses should hopefully be down for the main base and we can kind of just swoop in Squad and three, taking hostile fire we got your light pterodines light pterodines not fire. worried yes hostile pterodine eliminated squad four regenerating all right command uh yes, this movie there squad three taking hostile fire and we'll flank these guys with our light hoverdines. Squad three regenerating. Order received. Hostile terror. Pew pew. Squad one taking hostile yes. fire. There we go. What oh, we got going on here? Scout terror He's dead. Move order received. Yes. 
gas station. Uh, move you forward a bit. And we'll bring the command APC over for repairs. Squad three regenerating. And we should just about have eyes in the base now. Uh oh. Squad five taking hostile fire. I'm gonna hostile say they eliminated. Nope, they're in front of us. Okay. Just more scout pterodines. That's nothing too bad. Uh. Oh, what do we got? Uh, just a scout pterodine. All right, move back. Nothing too bad. I mean, I guess we are still in the early phases of the campaign, uh, still, but... Coordinates received. Just so used to getting my ass handed to me in those later Craven missions. Squad uh, one taking yeah, hostile fire. Alright. As you command, we're moving, Deacon. They have a med kit if any, uh, members get too badly injured. Move. But, uh, I think they'll be alright. We are on our way. Especially since there doesn't seem to be much in the Squad way one taking hostile fire. of right the fences. Away, Although, moving, obviously, Major. there's still, uh, a fair bit of vehicles, it seems. So at least Squad we're drawing, we're drawing them in. Uh, okay, move. Free fire, free fire. Uh, medic. Medic. Glad you should be able to pound those light, the lights at least. There we go. And our final med kit. Uh. What the? Okay, the ones, uh... Alright, what are we facing here for opposition? Main battle Pterodines. Uh, not the worst in the world. Engage. We should be able to handle them just in numbers alone. Switch back to these guys. Are they still doing all right? I think they drew off most of the moving, vehicles that were protecting the place. Um, move, command, understood. move you there. Move you there. Received. And uh, you here. Negative. No way. Move order received. And we should be able to. Hatch up a little bit and then continue onwards. And it seems like the uh, <laughs> the heavy pterodines are getting hopelessly lost here. Squad five regenerating. All right, so I want them to go. Yeah, here. I'm going. So let's see how their pathfinding can handle that. Squad five away, regenerating. Major. Coordinates received. Oh, the one guy's just going way the fuck ahead. Okay, I got a little turn around there. I suppose I didn't really use these in the Craven campaign, so a little bit fun to get to see them now. Yeah, I'm going. Right away, major. All right, position yourselves there, and then we'll uh, swing around and hit that power base. Command APC taking hostile fire. Okay, a single light pterodine. Not gonna lose sleep over that. Squad five taking friendly fire. Yeah. Squad six regenerating. If he comes back, he's just gonna die, so. Coordinates received. I'm not worried about him at all. <laughs> and we. Okay, yeah, we did cut it a little close to the uh, main Craven base there. Yeah, I'm going. Squad four taking hostile fire. Hostile pterodyne eliminated. Yeah, and he came back and he's dead, so he paid for it. 
Uh, maybe you shouldn't be leading the charge. Just a thought. If only because you dying is a game over? Right away, Major. Up, I hear regenerating. Combat. Command APC taking hostile fire. Squad three taking Oh my god, stop leading the charge. We will. We shall move at once, Okay. All right, yeah, they just had some sentry towers, it looks like, which are probably their equivalent of the plasma machine gun nests or whatever. Uh, five and six focus on that auto cannon. three and four focus on main battle Teradyne, squadron 13 move up and provide flanking. Plasma sunburst. Which... I want to use it on. Okay, that was. Oh, where are you guys running into? Oh, they're getting shredded by the uh, uh, auto cannons. Alright. That's fair. Hostile infantry and yes, limited. Squad Every six regenerating. Oh, actually. Squad four taking friendly fire. Squad six lost one unit. Damn it. Yes, Deacon, we are moving. Squad four taking friendly fire. Electro field. Squad no. five taking hostile fire. Hostile infantry and limited. Yes, there we go. Command vehicle is in our line of fire. Yes, Deacon, we are moving. Okay, command APC pull yes, back. Don't go in front of the goddamn in tanks. Fire. Squad six regenerating. Ah. <sighs> structure destroyed. Right you think they taking friendly fire. Squad five taking hostile fire. We shall move at once. All right. Repair squad five. Squad, five squad one get back in the APC. Uh, I suppose. Squad five taking hostile fire. Okay, squad five. Who are you taking fire from? An engineer truck. Squad five regenerating. Okay. Hostile Teradyne eliminated. But it said you were taking hostile fire. Whatever. Squad 13 taking hostile yes, fire. Deacon, we are moving. Uh, squad 13. Yeah, oh, they have some light Teradynes there. Alright, so squad 3 and 4. I want you to form up yes, Deacon, in a sensical please. way. Squad, squad five, 5 can... Taking hostile fire. Yes, Deacon, squad 6 please. taking friendly fire. Oh, there is a Jaeger infantry. Squad 2, intercept. Don't shoot as soon as you get out. I think they managed. There we go. And you can stay there for now. All right, Squad 13, I want you to pull out and right cover away, our Major. rear Move, command, um, and cover the command APC. Meanwhile, our, um, I want to use received. our units for all the easy Order killing received. since Squad 13 is not going to carry over into the next mission. So any kills they get, any experience they get yes. is just going to be wasted, Squad essentially. So it might be a little bit cheesy here. But, uh, yes, Deacon, we are moving. I just want our, any experience we gain to actually be carried. What the yes, fuck are Deacon, you doing? Are Pathfinding is not going well for these guys today. Attack confirmed. Not at all. Yes, Deacon, there we go. Alright, so they're attacking Order power received. station. There's some more sentry towers. Uh, are these armed sentry? Yes, they are. Oh, yes, they are. Um, we'll probably have to bring in. Attack order received. Squad 13 regenerating. Yes, Deacon. I'll Come bring in the uh, medium hover dines to deal with that. And uh, once we finish demolishing this base, we'll go in and uh, charge the next base using. Probably try to make a bit more of an effort of. Uh, Using the um, squad four taking hostile fire, enemy structure destroyed. Attack order received. Of using Move the uh, heavy teradines as a um, as kind of a yes, assault force underway, or a uh, what you call it, like attack a blocking confirmed. force or uh, 
hovering forwards, however you want to say it. I think you get what I'm trying to go for here, but use them the in their intended purpose to soak up all the enemy fire so our guys can outmaneuver and destroy the enemy units. Mission structure destroyed. Power generator destroyed. Sensor readings indicate a massive power outage. 95% of all automated defenses disabled. Only 95%? That's a little worrying. Anyways, let's start setting up here. Uh, main battle terror or the heavy pterodyne out in front. Hoverdyne's behind. Um, hopefully it didn't just spawn vehicles behind us. Because that's, that would be bad news for our command APC. Um, I do want to put eyes on the base, so I'll probably take squad two this time, since squad one has already sustained casualties. And while they're forming up, let's set them to return fire only. And, uh, just get them up on that plateau first. And then we can use them to kind of scout out the area, uh, get an idea of what the fences will be facing going in. Hopefully at this point, I think they've spent a lot of their... Regenerating. Okay. I think they've spent a lot of vehicles on us. So I'm optimistic that there won't be too many vehicles left. And with the base defenses down, there shouldn't be much that should offer us resistance. But of course, our AI friend buddy dude is only 95% sure that the base... Squad five Sorry. Regenerating. It wasn't that he was 95% sure. It was that he was... He believed 95% of the automated base defenses are down, which would still leave 5% of the automated base defenses. Uh, and it only, six, assuming Craven has an equivalent to the um, the Guarana Cannon or whatever it was called, uh, the Guana Cannon. <laughs> um, assuming Craven has an equivalent of that, it would only take one of those up. To, ugh, messed up my words. It would only take one of those to mess us up. Um, obviously, I think we have the numbers that we could just brute force it, but it might still outright kill a unit, which would be um, undesirable, to say, to say the least. I'm sorry, I apparently cannot speak today. Alright, so in the meantime, let's set up you there, you, you, and you... Yes, Here. Dude, we are moving. Yes, dude, you there. Regenerating. That should about do us. And our infantry should be coming in range of the base soon. If they had some binoculars, they'd probably be able to see it by now, but uh, fortunately we don't have that unlocked yet. So They will just have to do with the Mark I eyeball. Do they really still see nothing? Uh, guess we could get closer. We're moving, Deacon. I'm a little nervous getting this close, but let's see. Yeah, we'd have to assault there eventually. We don't have to do it right away, though, especially if their base defenses are disabled. Alternatively, it looks like there's another access point Squad here. Two taking hostile fire. Jaegers. We are on our way. They're probably elevated, so that would seem to be the first place to check. Squad two oh, there they are. Okay, so they took some vehicles out. And flamethrower. Oh, it acts like a mortar? That's not at all how I expected that weapon to work. I don't think I've seen it work like that before. I thought it was... It's a, yeah, it's a flamethrower, but it acts like the mortar for the Craven infantry. That's a little weird. I thought it would be direct fire short range, but... uh. I guess that that uh, article is incorrect. 
Okay, so we can see the, uh, we have a Vulcan auto cannon there, but it's not reacting to us. Yeah, I'm going. So let's start by leading off with the uh, heavy right pterodines. We'll see who, if anyone, attacks us. And then we'll follow up with the medium hoverdines to demolish those people. The light, if necessary, uh, in the case of infantry, along with our APC. Yeah, it looks like they're... Uh, they're not responding to our attacks, so... Yes, Deacon. We will move. I guess we'll move everyone else in. Enemy structure destroyed. Attack order received. There we go. Squad 3 taking hostile fire. Yes, Deacon. We uh, are Squad moving. 3. Oh, they have some, like, paradigms there. So let's focus on those. Alright, they're doing a little bit of damage. Oh, these Vulcans are, uh... Yeah, CTT 175mm cannon. Those are probably the equivalent of their Guana turrets that can uh, mess you up if you're not careful. Oh, they have a main battle pterodyne there, so let's take squads three and four and flank yes, around. Uh, yes, Deacon, we are moving. Yes, Deacon, move okay, we'll cut in front. Seat. Just because these squad guys... Three taking hostile fire. Enemy structure destroyed. Oh, squad we can repair three him. Squad three taking friendly fire. Uh, we're going to cut in front hostile just so we can... Eliminated. Yeah, that main battle pterodyne was starting to, to attack us, yes, so... Deacon, Yep, and they got more inside. Move order received. Yes, Deacon, we are moving. Alright, they'll hit them yes, from the uh, inside, we'll hit them from the outside. Attack order received. Attack underway, Deacon. There we go. Hostile Terradine Move order received. Alert. Do not fail to destroy the EWS facility. A cardinal is depending on you. Attack I will get it, don't worry. Uh, you guys should probably Attack finish confirmed. taking out that... Oh, before you do yes, that... I see there's a couple, uh, main battle terrorites behind us. Uh, let's send these guys in. Yeah, they should, uh, destroy the barracks soon enough. Squad six taking hostile fire. Uh, these guys should be... Okay, they're done. Uh, we've almost got one of the, oh, there's one of the Terradines down, there's two more to go. We might have to give them some repairs, but in the meantime, we can flank around here and probably hit them from behind. Oh, uh, there. you guys can move to engage. Your superior numbers, once you're getting close enough to hit, should ensure victory. I'll just repair one more time, and they should be able to destroy them without any problems. Alright, we'll use them to draw fire. Or at least attempt to. Yes, Deacon. They've got some damage. We'll bring in the APC for that. Hostile infantry eliminated. Oh, they got some infantry there. They shouldn't Squad be able to pierce regenerate. most of our armor. Um. Hostile infantry eliminated. Attack confirmed. Doesn't look like there's much in the way of a. Uh, oh yeah. I'm not asking you to move, I'm just asking you to kill the Marine. Squad four taking hostile fire. Squad four yeah, these guys are pretty banged up. Uh, meanwhile, these guys are also banged up, so let's bring them along yes, inside for some repairs. Ooh, Aerodyne Base Facility. Ooh, Aerodyne Repair Facility. Wait, Squad four uh, I guess they mean the Command Base. Because I don't see, uh... I don't see, um... An Aerodyne fitting in there. Necessarily. Yes, Enemy oh, I, I hate it when Squad one guy just goes way out of his way. Biodome. I assume maybe that's for 
I don't know what you need that for, I guess. Biological research of some sort. Alright, go repair them. In the meantime, Squad 4 can start demolishing everything else. Likewise, let's get our uh, Light Hopper Dines repaired. Back out that outpost first. Squad 3 regenerating. Enemy structure destroyed. And these guys have pretty much served their purpose, so I'll, I'll set them out here as sentries. Uh, I think we can destroy everything else with our own vehicles. There we go. So that way we can farm the experience as it were. Uh, you can start attacking that, you can start attacking that, you can start attacking that. I mean, heck, let's get the command APC in on this. Not that he's ever going to get any significant uh, <laughs> damage done, but... Okay, we got an ammo depot here. That seems a ripe target. Attack order received. Alright. Oh, we got fuel tanks here. Uh, let's have Squad 2 rendezvous with the command APC. I think they've done their job in giving us a little bit of scouting. And in drawing off some of the vehicle garrison, too. So they can get healed up and be done. Alright, let's move them in. Attack confirmed. Don't know why you guys stopped firing unless I hit the wrong thing. Help the command APC, who's useless. Knock out that bunker. And we got some APC garages and equipment depot. Alright, so we'll move them up. You can hit that bunker. And they will help you with that. APC garage with no APCs in it. Uh, I suppose that's fine. You guys should be in position Attack now confirmed. to hit these cisterns. A lot of... Well, I presume it's water. It might be fuel, though. I don't actually recall what the... Um, what the Craven vehicles run on. If it's uh, gasoline still, or if they've transitioned to hybrids or even fully electric Attack vehicles, or they could be fusion powered for all I know. Probably not. Uh, that fusion seems to be Attack mostly confirmed. under the purview of the order, but just like, um, I think in um, Command and Conquer 3, I think at least some of the vehicles in there might not have been mentioned in the game, but I know in the novelization, or wasn't even technically a novelization, it was a story set alongside the game, but in there, some of the vehicles were, um, I think, hydrogen powered. So you know they could could be doing something similar here. All right. Attack underway, Deacon. Uh, where's my third? Oh yeah, you're here doing nothing. Attack you should uh. Be destroying stuff. If you're wondering why I'm destroying everything else first, I, I'm kind of nervous in two ways here. On the one hand, I'm worried that as soon as I destroy the main objective, they're going to call in um, reinforcements, and I'm going to have to make a mad dash to the exit, even though the base isn't fully destroyed. And I'm a bit of a completionist. I like to fully uh, do things here. Uh, but on the other hand, I'm concerned. That if I don't get to this fast enough, um, then we might Enemy just fail the mission. Because there, there have been cases before Attack where they haven't put a hard timer on screen. But if you take too long, you just kind of get royally fucked. So I want to avoid that if Enemy possible. Alright, I guess we'll start. I think there's little enough Attack left we can start destroyed. focusing on the, uh, Squad two the other stuff here. So they can get the drop on the asteroid. Attack confirmed. 
Enemy structure Attack destroyed. Underway, Deacon. Attack underway, Deacon. There we go. Mission accomplished. Oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> My fears were for nothing. Although we were... The Krays were caught completely by surprise. As I write this, the retribution is driving the Kray cruiser from its low orbit and position of strength. The Inquisition has arrived, and I only hope I have not doomed myself by helping them. I confess I was tempted to leave the Kray sensor intact, but if I had given that order, I would have condemned not only myself, but the men who follow me as well. I have started a false confessionary, which I will upload to the Cardinal's cruiser when requested. Too much has occurred for me to blindly cast myself at the mercy of the Inquisition. I will continue to make entries here and code it to a hidden database. If all does go wrong, there should be some final word as to my actions and thoughts. Interesting. So now we're... We uh, don't want to throw Magnus under the bus, so... As in doing so, I guess we'd kind of be throwing ourselves under the bus, because... He even said, like, in the very first missions that some of our tactics were, were not worthy of the order. Um, mostly those hidden those hidden run rates on enemy convoys. But now we're getting into more of a stand-up fight, so that should put them at ease a little bit. Especially with another uh, war wagon, as they call it, um, lending us support. So now we're kind of back to the status quo of the first 10 Craven missions, except... The Astrid will have already, as well, has already depleted some of her forces and strength in taking the planet. And now she's got to defend it against not only our little um, guerrilla campaign, but also a fresh um, order attack force on that new battle wagon. Uh, so it looks like we lost three friendly units in this mission to infantry one assault. Uh, that assault was a light hoverdyne with 72 confirmed kills, including 15 enemy infantry. 54 enemy vehicles, including, or, well, in addition to three support vehicles, and 86 buildings destroyed. So, Jared Stone is still unproven. Uh, he destroyed one building. Good for him, I guess. Uh, com okay, that was for last mission. Dark Prophets. Um, they have 11 confirmed kills. Uh, and two units lost uh, on this mission. Uh, they were squad one when they got ambushed by all those vehicles. Oh, we burned through all those med kits, so I can't say I'm too surprised with that. Uh, Hands of the Sun had uh, nothing lost, seven confirmed kills, and a combat star for uh, service. They have done five missions now. The Golden Star, oh, I forgot ranks too. Uh, Dark Prophets are Battle Brother. Hands of the Sun are Priestly. Golden Stars are Priestly. They had 12 confirmed kills and 23 buildings destroyed, so good on them. The Shining Daggers are also priestly, with 19 confirmed kills, 16 buildings destroyed, and medals for field excellence and aggression. The Wrath of God, which was our lone light terror or light hoverdyne squadron, uh, got 15 confirmed kills, 8 buildings destroyed for the loss of one infantry fighting vehicle. And we have the Abominations, who are another uh, medium hoverdyne unit. They had 8 confirmed kills, 38 buildings destroyed, holy shit, and a medal for destruction. And of course, Soul, Soul Reapers is our first uh, light ter hoverdyne squadron that we had lost earlier in the campaign. So that about does it for today. So with that, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time. And stay safe out there and we'll see you then.